Let's queer up drag culture. Texas drag ban ruled unconstitutional by U.S. judge. On Tuesday, a federal judge in Texas ruled that the state's new law limiting public drag performances was an unconstitutional restriction on speech, and he permanently forbade enforcement of it. The U.S. District Judge David Hitner wrote, quote, not all people will like or condone certain performances. This is no different than a person's opinion on certain comedy or genres of music, but that alone does not strip First Amendment protection, end quote. More than a dozen states have sought to restrict drag shows over the last year, with Texas one of at least four to pass restrictions into law, part of the broader Republican efforts to regulate the behavior of LGBTQ plus people. Hitner ruled that the Texas law was discriminatory and improperly vague. He said drag performances were not inherently obscene and were the sort of expressive speech protected by the U.S. Constitution's First Amendment. Drag performers and Pride March organizers joined the American Civil Liberties Union of Texas to represent the plaintiffs. The office of the Texas Attorney General defended the law, which, among other restrictions, banned the exhibition of sexual gesticulations using accessories or prosthetics that exaggerate male or female sexual characteristics in public or in venues where people under 18 may see it. Violations could be punished by fines and a jail sentence of up to one year. Texas lawmakers said the law was needed to protect children from seeing sexually explicit content. You know, me and Cal were just talking about this before the show, right? Where is there a drag show? It's usually at midnight or 1 a.m. at Alibi. Yes, no kids should be there because it's 1 a.m. at Alibi, okay? So, I mean, it's just incredible how this is. Thank God that somebody spoke common sense, you know? The reality is that if you don't like drag, don't watch it. If you don't like gay people, don't sleep with us. It's really, really simple. Sorry, I get excited. Okay. Sorry. But I think this is also a wake-up call for the LGBTQ plus community to use the Constitution to our advantage and to for our benefit. For our benefit. You know, we need to fight back because if they're using the Constitution to defend their rhetoric, then we need to use the Constitution to defend, you know, what they're trying to do to us. Yeah. Mm. Any thoughts? Some of my favorite lovers are straight. Does that help? Yeah. <laughs> You know, I, I, I want to point out, um, this is really, really um, um, a great moment. It is. And an important moment. And this, uh, this uh, decision uh, by the federal judge is, uh, is not going to get all of the attention that it should, especially in traditional media. And I think it is because there's a lack of understanding of what this judge has done. Let me try to um, uh, peel it apart a moment. Um, you should be hearing this federal judge's decision as a pendulum of how things swing in America and in, in our laws, in terms of what we watch in, in city commissions and our school boards and our state houses, uh, a pendulum swings. And over the last couple of years in Florida, we have seen this radical pendulum swing going on to protect parental rights and argue that parents are just being destroyed in their decision-making, etc. But really what is at the heart of these decision-making arguments is that we want more power and we want more money and we're going to guise it in that. The governor has been largely successful on that. Uh, Don't Say Gay was the first inst in installation of that, but many other things. Now in trans, the expansion of Don't Say Gay, what they did on drag uh, this spring, that is a pendulum. The pendulum in Florida has been swinging. This federal judge in Texas watches the pendulum and goes, Oop, stop. Now let's move the pendulum back in some degrees. He specifically says, this is forever unenforceable. The only way you're going to overcome my decision is to appeal to higher court. It's going to the Supreme Court. That's where these laws, that's where Florida's law, that's where the Hamburger Mary's Orlando is going to end up. The Supreme Court is going to be forced to make a decision to decide on your speech of your First Amendment right of speech. One of the arguments in the law is that there can be no breastplates. There can be no artificial uh, enhancement of a genital being the breast. Uh, wait, since when do I not have free speech to talk about dicks and breasts and any other words that I want to say? The pendulum swings to go, oh, no, no, you shouldn't have that. Uh, the federal judge says, no, let's pull it back to center and cannot be enforced 
because it's a constitutional free speech violation. Go to the Supreme Court, yeah. make them decide. I am telling you, I have a very good feeling when it gets to the Supreme Court, the breastplate argument. We've talked about Hooters over and over again. Who made the decision among the radical evangelicals and the GOP that if you're a big busted waitress at Hooters, your breasts hanging out are free speech, but artificial enhancement of a drag queen is not. The Supreme Court is going to go, uh, yeah, sorry, you lose. And the reason is because it's overly vague. You cannot vaguely say this is okay and this is not without being specific. The pendulum is moving back. And this is one of the most striking examples of it in America. For all of those radical GOP and evangelicals that are trying to take on drag queens, oh, I can just hear it. The train whistle in the distance, it's blowing, and that train is coming straight for, straight for you. And this ruling is the first of many that are going to come to this conclusion. Your days on attacking drag queens are coming to an end.